Hello, I'm Salomine Turon. I'm one of the radiologists at SCP Radiology. My name is Tulim Twana. I am a diagnostic radiographer. So there are two situations in which patients will present for a mammogram. The first is screening mammography. So that includes any person older than 40 years old who presents for screening. In other words, the patient is asymptomatic. The purpose of the mammogram would be to detect early cancer, which the patient is unaware of at the time. The second will be diagnostic mammography. This is when either the patient or the referring clinician feels a lump or the patient notices a change in her breast and she comes to have that further evaluated. We are looking for subtle changes that could alert us to early breast cancer. The whole purpose of screening mammography is to diagnose breast cancer before it becomes clinically palpable or clinically evident in with other symptoms. So you will look for very small, what we call micro calcifications, so very, very tiny calcifications in the breast. You will always compare the mammogram to the prior mammograms, and especially if you see new calcifications, that would be something that you're really worried about. In diagnostic mammography, we would want to confirm the presence of the palpable lump and then also to better define the nature of the lump. So sometimes a palpable lump can turn out to be a simple cyst. In that case, we will reassure the patient and we'll tell her not to worry. Occasionally, the palpable lump is something that looks really benign and was there before when we compare it to the previous mammogram. And in that case, we can also reassure the patient or we can suggest a follow-up ultrasound in six months. When the palpable lump has worrisome features on mammography and ultrasound, we will suggest a biopsy. Biopsies can be performed ultrasound guided or it can be performed stereotactic guided. Stereotactic biopsies are done on the mammogram machine and ultrasound biopsies are done on the ultrasound bed with the ultrasound giving us the roadmap to get to the lesion and make sure we get tissue diagnosis. The patient will be waiting in reception where the mammographer will come and fetch the patient. You introduce yourself because at this point the patient is nervous, just so that they know who they're working with and then you take them right through to the mammography department where everything will be explained. So you first get your patient changed into the mammography, we have pink mammography gowns. <laughs> I think they, they're quite cute. We, we change them into our gowns and then everything is explained inside the mammography room because then it's more private and personal because the type of questions that we ask them are personal questions um, regarding their health. We have a machine with a mood light, so already it's calming. It's, it calms the environment in the room. So I explain and guide them through the examination. I talk to them throughout the examination so that they can feel comfortable. I let them touch and feel the machine so that they know that, okay, this is what's going to be happening. I explain the different components of the machine so that they know that this is where the breast will be positioned, this is the compression, what is the compression used for, and I will not be compressing until you can't breathe. We compress just enough so that we can and see what we need to see on the base. The mammogram is always followed by an ultrasound if it's necessary, always if it's your first mammogram so that we can have a full examination, but not always for a follow-up. That will be dependent on the radiologist or if there's any findings on the mammogram. Once a patient has been diagnosed with breast cancer, it is extremely important that they have a yearly follow-up mammogram. We want to make sure that there is no evidence of local recurrence. In the tissue bed, if the patient had a mastectomy in the chest wall, and then also we want to make sure that the other breast remains normal and that the patient doesn't develop cancer in the other breast. The patient will usually be referred for these follow-up mammograms by either the oncologist or by the surgeon.